So top tip for assessment centres is when you're doing group exercises. Absolutely key to this is that you must be inclusive. P people most typically talk to, turn to, focus on the people who are most similar to themselves, whether that's gender, whether that's race. You're automatically drawn to those people. When you're talking, you need to be talking to all of the people in that particular group and you need to be drawing people in who are being particularly quiet. You need to be the one that is doing that. Be inclusive. Okay, tip number two for assessment centres. Again, we're dealing with the group exercise. It's a group exercise and it means that people contribute and you add to their ideas. You should be seen to add to other people's ideas, being constructive. Yes, that's a good idea, and we can do this, and we can do this. Big firms want people to work together to help develop, grow an idea, and that's what you're after. Number three, you're almost certainly going to have to do some sort of presentation. Now, this could be a stand-up presentation in a group. It could be an individual presentation. Very commonly these days, firms will give you 15 minutes, 20 minutes to prepare a particular topic. You then have to present your ideas. This could be on a news story, it could be on an economic story, it could be something completely random, such as the favorite, your favourite book. Prepare presentations. Use every opportunity you have in the clubs and societies at university, every opportunity you have during your academic study to practice. Please do it in front of videos, do it in front of live audiences, but think about it. Think about the body language, think about your voice, think about the contact with the audience. Next tip for assessment days. Very commonly, you're going to be asked to redo your tests. This could be a verbal reasoning test. It could be a maths test. Some people, when they're doing these tests at home, when they're doing them online, they might get friends to do it for them. It happens. They might even pay somebody else to do it for them. It happens. But then when you turn up on the day, you'll have to do the test again. It's useful if you take screenshots in advance of the questions that you've answered, and you can get your head into that way of thinking but be prepared to do tests again. Top tip number five for the assessment centres, be kind to everyone, and I mean everyone. When you walk into that firm and you meet the receptionist or you meet the person who is organising you or taking you through to the group exercise room, they could be watching you, they could be assessing you. Be polite, ask questions, smile, be happy. Yes, you're under stress, you're under pressure, that day is important to you. But be kind to people, please.